Good day, folks. Welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience and knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve. So today I have a product review kind of first impression on an elevated ground blind that's made by Guide Gear. Now, um, I'm just going to give you a little introduction on some specs and the price of this, and then I'm going to just defer this to some videos that I, this is just going to cut right into some videos that I made of us setting it up. Very, uh, uh, so it's, it's a four by four blind. It stands six feet up. Um, the uh, weight capacity, I believe, is about 500 pounds. It, it's made for one person. It's four by four. It's tight. Um, you're probably shooting at about eight feet inside. Uh, you could, I think you could certainly draw a bow inside of it. Um, and it, it's made well. The construction is good. The MSRP is, I think it's $399.99. <clears throat> so it's like $400, but I ended up getting it on sale through Sportsman's Guide, and I'm a member, for right around $219, which is a steal. And right now, member price is $269, which is still great. Um, but I'm going to defer you to some videos here, and that way you can see me setting it up and any type of problems that I had, which I really didn't have any. And I'm sorry about the first video. I wasn't really holding the camera the right way. I used my phone to videotape it. And... Um, it just, it it's like cockeyed in, in the picture, but I think you'll understand what I'm saying, all right? So I'll just defer you to that, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hey, folks, welcome back to my neck of the woods. So uh, I'm out here um, with an elevated ground blind. It stands about six feet tall. I'm about 6'2". Here it is right here. Um, it's made by Guide Gear. It's around $200 on Sportsman's Guide. Um, the construction really isn't bad. It's really not that heavy. Me and a friend put it together. It took us about an hour and a half to get it together. And we I, I don't have it fully together now. We just did the platform and then we carried it upside down, like sort of legs pointed up um, out into the woods. It really wasn't that bad. We got it into a spot. Um, it has these sort of feet on it that you can uh, change um, the level of it and I got it pretty sturdy so I have it comes with these spikes right here that I'm going to hammer into it and um, secure it to the ground I don't think it's going to need any like ratchet straps or anything like that and um, like I said the construction's good it, it, it's really not bad this is a rail probably can't make it out I carried it into the woods that I'm going to put on top of it now and then um, stay tuned for that step and I'll show you and tell you how well that went on if it went on well at all stay tuned so I assembled it with the rail and we got it and we staked it in initially we put the rail together as one piece but there were really just too many moving parts to do it solo so we had to actually follow the directions and put it together one by one um, it's really sturdy, more sturdy than I thought. We have this, this old man climbing up it here. Don't grab that hole. Yeah, grab the other one. But it's really sturdy. It's six feet up. And um, do you feel tippy up there? No. No. Good. And uh, so now we're going to try to put the um, blind up over on the top of this. So stay tuned for that step. So we got it all up. The platform is six feet, probably be shooting at eight feet. Um, after the side rails went on, it's basically a blind, a four by four blind that I just picked up and put over and it Velcros on the bottom. Really, really easy to assemble. Um, it took us a little while, but I mean, like anything, you put a tree stand together, it's gonna take you a little bit if you never put it together, but it's really sturdy, it's not tippy, it doesn't need any extra you know, all the, all the hardware was there. There was no missing hardware or anything. Uh, like I said, I paid a little over $200 for it on Sportsman's Guide. Um, I'm gonna climb up the ladder and uh, show you um, what it looks like inside. Um, I like it. I'm really impressed with it. Stay tuned. All right, I'm inside. We're getting some rubber matting to put on the inside. I just need another piece. But this is inside here. It, I mean, it's tight. It's four by four, so it's not this gigantic blind um, for $200. Um, 
it's stable. It's probably about five feet in the middle. I'm 6'2", 230 pounds. So it's perfect for, I mean, I, should, I use a crossbow, so it's perfect for that. Um, I do think you could draw a bow in here. Um, the windows are tight, you, but you could probably get, if you wanted something with a different window orientation, you could probably just get any four by four blind and just put it over the rails. I think it would work. I can't stand up in it, like I said. I think a swivel chair right in the middle is gonna be perfect for my needs. Anyway, sub the channel. Talk to you guys later.